Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel, to Vanessa. Um, today I'll just be doing a video about, you know, situationships and how to block people. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So, I would say I have some experience in this. In the past, I uh, was in a relation situationship that lasted about four years and, um, you know, just a lot of back and forth, a lot of like gaslighting on his part and just me sticking around because he always said the right things. He, you know, like, just like, give me more time and I'll be ready to claim you and, you know, just stuff like that. And I just like, I would go, like I would get upset and then I would like uh, cancel things with him or whatever, break things off with him. And then like a couple months later, he'd come crawling back and like, I would be like, okay, let's meet up. It's so harmless. And then it wasn't harmless. <laughs> so I think like what I learned through that situationship is that like, no matter how many people were like telling me like this, this is not the person for you. And like, you should be with someone who, who knows they want to be with you right from the start. Like, why is he making you wait years? And, um, and don't get me wrong, I like did date other people in between, but it's just the fact that like, as women, sometimes like the whole stereotype of like, I can fix him. Like, yeah, like I legit thought that I was going to be the one that changed him and blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, it took so many years and so many fucked up things that he did. But like, it just took one day for me to be like, oh, this is fucked up. What am I doing? Why am I putting myself in this like situation? And I think I just kind of really sat down with myself and like I went through like my journals and I was just kind of like, dude, what am I doing? Like diary entry, whatever. He made me cry. He said this. He told somebody I was his girlfriend the next day. He's like, no, you're not. Um, and then would get upset if like I would go on a date. Like I would just look at all these journal entries and like just me crying and being so depressed and like so in love with this person. By the way, I was never actually in love with this person. I think I was just like in love with the idea of this person and with the idea that possibly you know one day we will be together but I think it just hit me one day like that fourth year where I was like dude I don't deserve this and I think also it's just like and don't get me wrong I still have a lot of growing growing self self love growth to do and I love myself and obviously you guys can't see I'm in a very healthy relationship I'm getting married soon but it took me a while to kind of just be like really honest with myself and like why am I like giving this guy so much power, so much authority over me? Like you really, it really like even if, if you have a friend right now who's like dealing with a guy in like a situation ship and he like consistently shows her who he is but she holds out on hope that he'll change because he said he loved her, he says all the right things like as much and as many times as you tell your friend like that person's not gonna change like they legit when a guy says i don't deserve you like believe them like and the person in the situation ship usually it's like the girl uh so if you're you're in a situation like me it kind of sometimes like it doesn't matter how many times someone a friend tells you something like you kind of got to learn it on your own and it's got to be at your own pace um, sadly it took me four years I know it's taken people more than four years or maybe less but like it's still like each situation is different as well depending on the situation but it's mostly on you to kind of just finally start to realize that you deserve more and that like this situation isn't serving you and yeah I kind of just got to the point where I was fed up and I was just kind of like, you know, I had graduated college and I was just like really ready to go out into the real world and um, 
I was just so ready to like find something different. Granted, I did like date another toxic asshole <laughs> after uh, that four year person, but like at least I dated someone else. Like I was just, um, I was just so ready. And I think one of the reasons that I like felt so ready and why I, like stopped communicating with this person is because I block them on everything. And I personally am a huge fan of the block button, not even for situationships, like just for people. Like obviously like if you tried to make amends or whatever your situation is and you really tried and you're, I, I think it just depends on the situation, but I'm just mostly for situationships like if you genuinely in your heart know you deserve more, why are you giving this person access to you? Sure, you could block them on texting, but why does this person still have access to your Instagram? Why does this person still have access to Snapchat or whatever it is that you have? Like, I made it a point to literally erase this person out of my life. I deleted pictures. Why would I want them? All it caused was bad memories. I not only blocked their number, but deleted their number. Like their number's not saved on my phone. I don't know it by heart. Like it's out of my life. I don't want to look at it. I deleted them on, deleted or, or blocked or whatever, blocked on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook. I don't even have a Snapchat anymore, but I had blocked them off Snapchat. Um, twi like Twitter, like everything you could think of that you knew you had this person on, block. If a guy really wants to talk to you, he'll email you. He'll show up at your house, whatever. But I even like blocked him on Venmo. I blocked him on my email. And um, I just knew he wouldn't ever show up to my house because he was the worst. And I didn't matter that much to him. But I also kind of blocked in terms like of just from my point of view. Like I don't want to be feeling lonely one day and like text them. So if you feel like you're going to text them, you're going to have to unblock this person. So if you see yourself doing those steps, you're going to kind of contemplate it and consider it a little bit more. But like, I completely erased this person out of my life. And I really told myself like, stop reaching out when you get sad. And I think like, I just really took myself serious one year. And that was the year that I started actually going out on more dates and just like really figuring out the dating scene. And this was like a couple years ago. This was like before the, the pandemic started. Um, but yeah, you, you really have to get serious. Sorry, I keep moving on. You really have to get serious with yourself. And it's like, do I trust myself enough to know that I will be okay? that I don't need to talk to them? Do I love myself enough to know that I will be okay in the end, that I don't need to talk to this person? I love myself because I don't deserve to be treated this way. I love myself uh, and for that reason, I'm not gonna allow this person to control my mind, to, to play games with me. You know, so trust and love, but like in yourself. And trust that, trust that like, good things are going to come out of it. Yeah, did I date someone horrible after <laughs> after this person? I did. But I also t see that now as like such so like such an awesome step getting away from toxic people. And like that the guy that I dated after was so horrible. Um, but I also felt more in control of myself, more in control of like this person said something mean to me, like actually like coming at them and like talking to them about it instead of just like letting their thoughts control me and I guess at the end of the day it's really up to you you really have to be super super fed up I would say my biggest like my biggest things that I would want you to do is to block them off of everything I would want you to get a journal and just write everything down. Or if you already have a journal, 
literally look through the journal entries from your time. Like if you're seeing some like, man, I was really sad during this time period. Yeah, it's because you're with this person who like doesn't care about you. Um, so block journal, I would say get a therapist. Getting a therapist for me was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've been with my therapist for five years. And I started seeing my therapist when I was in that fourth year ending that whole situation ship. And if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would have ended it. She really helped me figure out like what it is that I wanted, what it is that I needed, what it is that I deserved. Um, so blocking completely, getting a journal, getting a therapist, I would say hanging out with your girlfriends, like literally just hang out with your friends going out seeing that there's other people out there like i was one of those pe people that like if i saw a cute couple walking down the hall or like if i went to a restaurant and i saw like a cute couple i would never get jealous it's just like it's i think you just got to look at it if like wow there's love out there look at this couple they're holding hands wow look at that couple they're in their 50s and they're like kissing like so cute um i think you just got to look at it like there's so much love around you that you got to be like, wow, even just a couple holding hands is so cool. Like that guy from four years wouldn't ever want to hold my hand. He didn't know the color of my eyes. Why was I stressing over a guy that didn't know the color of my eyes? You know what I mean? It's just like you really, really got to get real with yourself. And it's you gotta you just you just gotta be real with yourself because like why are you the baddest bitch and the most amazing and kind person and you're letting this guy who like wouldn't do shit for you like control your emotions in your day fuck that you're too amazing to let a situation ship be in control of you like you lit you literally have to be real with yourself you need to say i'm fed up choose being alone over being so so depressed and so drained in a situation ship that's not feeding you that's not helping you grow someone who doesn't compliment you someone who tells you things you want to hear but doesn't mean it like you really need to be honest with yourself and i know they say like love yourself first before like a good relationship comes into your life i believe in that to a certain part like when i got with my with my fiance i i did love myself I didn't love myself as much as like I thought I should before I got into a healthy relationship. But you heal in new relationships. I truly believe that. I don't think you need to be 100% in love with yourself to enter a new relationship. I think you need to consistently work on yourself all the time. I'm the happiest I've ever been right now. But I know that tomorrow I'm probably going to be dealing with my body dysmorphia, with my depression, blah, blah, blah. But I do know that while I'm dealing with that, I have a partner who's going to like listen to me let me be vulnerable be nice to me be kind to me offer suggestions or just be an ear or a shoulder to lean on like i know i have that security in my partner that i know that like if i was having a bad day or if i was feeling insecure or whatever i know that my partner has my back and that's that's like when you know you're in like a good relationship because i've been in both right now and it's it's just so refreshing to be with someone who doesn't make you feel like bad on your bad days. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've been talking for a long time. I hope all this made sense. I just really wanted to do a video. I just feel like I have a little bit of experience in this topic, but you're amazing. Don't let like horrible people ruin your life and take so many years out of your life. Go on dates. Even if they're bad, go on dates. Let these guys pay for your food. Who cares? Get to know people. Like, travel the world. Try try out new jobs. If you hate your job, go somewhere else. Like, really just l love yourself at least enough to know that you don't need to be with these certain people who make your life feel like hell. Who make you feel like you're hard to love. Does that make sense? All right, cuties. Well, love ya. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye, cuties.